Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So, you think you're going to run out and buy a brand new 2023 Toyota Tacoma and get exactly what you want. I'm here to tell you, forget about it, unless you get lucky. You know, recently I was in the market, sort of in the market. I mean, I really wasn't necessarily planning to get a new Toyota Tacoma, but I made the fatal error. I went to Toyota and they had this truck sitting there. Now, I did go with the intent, I guess, of getting something. I was going to get it out of allocation. I had talked to the sales guy over there and they had a truck or two or three coming in, two I think. And one of them I was going to settle for, I guess. It was going to be a Barcelona Red, which I like, but I've had it before in that color. And it was going to be a Sport, you know, with the hood scoop on it which I didn't really mind, and a 4x4. Four four. Those were my really my two stipulations, I guess, that it'd be 4x4 four four and that it'd be a 2023, uh, maybe with or without the scoop. At that time, I guess I, I wanted the scoop. So I went in, and uh, I happened to see this one sitting on the lot. Now, admittedly, I never was a fan of the electric lime on the Toyota Tacoma. It just wasn't my thing in pictures. It wasn't until I actually went to the lot, it was a bright sunny day, and this thing just popped sitting there. And man, am I happy I got it. Gotta say, this is now tied with my favorite all-time color for the Toyota Tacoma, the other being Voodoo Blue. But this one, I might actually like a little bit more. That's how profound it is in person. But anyway, if you think you're gonna go into the dealership, like it used to be. You know, I remember back in the old days, three, four, five years ago, you were able to go to the dealership. They had a row of Toyota Tacomas sitting there. You can pick out anything that you wanted. TRD Off-Road, Sports, SR5s, SRs, might even have a pro on the lot. Those days are gone, at least in my area. When I went to the lot the last time, let's go back to the previous time before that, I did a drive through, of course the sales guys, they tracked me down as they do here, and told me that they had a Toyota coming in, a Tacoma, it was white, and that's the only one. And I think that one sold probably almost right away because it wasn't there when I went back. When I went back, this most recent time, they had this one. Now, that red Barcelona that was coming in did come in, but I haven't seen it on the lot since then, so I'm assuming that it's gone. And this, of course, is due to a number of factors. You know, the economy, of course, the part shortages, the chip shortages, the great sickness. I mean, all of these things happening just boom, 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 one after another, right? And it's still going on. Now, that leads me to an upcoming decision that I'm going to be having, right? You know, we've got the 2024 model Tacoma coming out, the redesign, and it's going to look a bit different than this, of course. It's going to have different uh, accessories, different accents, different lights, different everything, different bumpers. I saw a picture recently, and I'm not sure if it's real or not, but it was a Tacoma with an ARB bumper on the rear. Now, I'm thinking somebody photoshopped that on, but I don't know. I saw a post from Toyota, and they actually hashtagged ARB. And I thought, well, maybe Toyota is partnering with ARB bumpers. You know, they've done stuff like that in the past. They had rigid fog lights in the front of, I think it was the Pro. So it's not out of the question. We shall see. But anyway, the 2024 is obviously going to be different. Now, availability. Of course, I want to put my hands on one as quickly as I can once they come out, right? But the problem is what they'll come out with. You know they're going to come out with the top of the line. They're going to come out with the Pro first. This is how Toyota works. The Pros are going to come out, and then you're probably going to have some Limiteds, the TRD packages, this new Trail Edition, going to be all kinds of other things before they get maybe to the lower ends. And depending on what the options are, I'm not quite sure what I'll do. You know, originally, I got this TRD off-road because I'm thinking I'm going to get a TRD off-road or whatever the equivalent is 
in the new redesigned 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Now, I might step back a little bit on that, a little bit. I still want a 4x4 for as close as I can get apples to apples drivetrain comparisons. Of course, the engine, that's going to be different. At least it seems to be. I hear rumors that maybe Toyota is going to come out with some sort of a V6. I don't know. I find it hard to believe that they're going to be producing uh, different engines side by side on the assembly line. It just doesn't seem very efficient to me. I don't know why they would do that unless they have some sort of surplus of engines and they're going to put some of those in the new model. It just doesn't make any sense because there's also going to be a new 10-speed transmission, I hear. So mating all these things together economically just doesn't jive for me. So I really don't think we're going to see a V6. I'd like to see a twin turbo. There's a little rumor about that. A twin turbo 4? Eh, I kind of doubt it, but you never know. It's interesting to see and hear all the rumors and things that are out there. But for me, it's going to be a matter of being able to find the right trim. Again, I want something that is comparable to this. This is the TRD off-road. I realize I've taken the badging off the back. For some people, that means it's not a TRD off-road anymore. For me, it still is. It doesn't have to say it to be it, right? But I, I'd like to have a TRD off-road ideally. That means I may have to wait a while because I'm not going to get a pro. That just doesn't make sense for what I do to buy a finished truck. Some would argue that even buying a TRD doesn't make a lot of sense. But there are a lot of things that I can do with this truck, and there are several things that I've done already, and I just can't help myself. You know, I had a comment the other day on the channel, why are you doing mods and things to this truck? I mean, if you're just going to get rid of it when the new one comes out, eh, maybe I won't get rid of it. I don't know. I've got to say I have fallen in love with the Toyota Tacoma all over again. Strangely, it has a lot to do with the color. I know, I'm so fickle, right? It has a lot to do with the color. It just, it's just awesome. But also the way that the truck rides, the way that it, it feels, the comfort of it on the road. I mean, it all just seems to be better than what I've had in the past. And it's probably all in my head. I mean, changing the color of a truck does not make it a better truck. It just makes it a different color. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. The supply is still short. If you think you're going to run to the dealership and have your pick of a number of different Tacomas to buy, you're probably going to be very disappointed unless you get lucky. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you've bought one recently, did you settle either on color or trim or model? Or did you go find what you wanted sitting on the lot somewhere? Did you get lucky? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.